Let's explore a digital engagement tool, perfect for a blog or classroom, the digital escape room. A digital escape room requires the user to actively click on content and use critical thinking to accomplish some goal. These can also be done in collaboration or as a means of gamification. Let's take a look at an example. Here we see a simple story where Ms. Frizzle is counting on you to sub for her class. You need to access her lesson plan on her computer, but you need the passcode. Notice the user is given directions on how to navigate the slide deck and how the slide deck is placed in presenter mode. As I follow the instructions, we see the cursor change to a hand, indicating I can take an action here by clicking. The directions on the left stayed static, so the user can reference them as they continue. We also gave hints on some actionable items, but this is optional. As we take action on the clickable items, we continue to gather clues to our end goal of typing in a code. Notice that these are all screenshot crops of the original picture. The original photo was generated with AI, but any photo will do. Also notice that not all items have a clue, some are distractors. When the user is ready, they can click on the numeric pad to solve the clue. When they click on the wrong number at any time, they are taken to a screen that reads incorrect and they must start again. Only by clicking all five numbers in the correct order are they granted access to our end screen. Also notice that if the user just went through the slide deck, they wouldn't know what the answer was as the links are invisible. This was created in PowerPoint by creating links in the office desk slide to other slides within the deck. However, they could also go to external links as needed. Check out the video description for a step-by-step -step tutorial document. As always, thank you for watching.